He's gone. You got him. Okay. Who else is in here? I'm gonna shoot him. Boy, do we have a treat for you today. From cops investigating shots fired in a drug den to drugged up influencers and drunken friends, once you start watching, you won't be able to look away. These are the cases when the police knew the suspect was hiding something. On July 21st, 2022, someone called the cops because they heard shots fired at their neighbor's house. Supposedly, there was an argument prior to the shooting. The responding officers approached the residence cautiously. Right off the bat, something just didn't seem right. What's up? Are we all right? There's somebody in there. We're probably being used. I think we're being used. Did you see anybody get shot? No, Carl came out saying that he just shot himself and we heard a gunshot. The officers went around the house, but there was no sound except for the dog barking. There's something strange going on, but what is it? At one point, the officer caught a glimpse of a mysterious figure inside. The police department, but you know that. Come on out to the door. Caller is right there. She said she heard a gunshot and a girl came out screaming that Somebody had shot themselves. Yeah. You're gonna have to get in here. If, I mean, if, yeah, if, if you, I saw that in the remarks, but if she's saying that's what it is, then. You see you, buddy? Well, the guy shut the window when we were, when I was walking up. You're gonna have to come to the door, we're gonna have to kick it in. It's the police. You saw me walking up. Come on up. You what? I ain't gonna fix your broken door. The officer was clear about not wanting to fix the door, but it doesn't mean he can't kick it in. As his colleagues remove the stuff piled at the entrance, the officer gives out one final warning. We got about three seconds. Open the door now. Let me see your hands now, thank you, police. He's going back. You got him. Okay. Who else is in here? I'm going to shoot him. Hey, let me see your hands. Hey, you're going to do a little Sassy. Sassy, I can get her. I can get her. Hey, behind your back. Hold that dog. Hold that dog. Get him out. As the dog lunged at him, the officer fired his weapon, but thankfully, the canine wasn't hurt. The dog was still agitated by the officers manhandling the suspects, and this tense situation could easily end badly. The restraint of these officers is commendable, even though one of them mentioned pepper spraying the dog. 
The officer who held the dog at gunpoint could have easily pulled the trigger and his action would have been justified. The officers still don't know what exactly happened, so they'll take everyone to the police station to investigate. As the suspects are being hauled off to the cars, the dog, Sassy, follows them all the way. We did real quick pat downs on these guys. Uh, we had to sniff around, I had to cover. They all ran to the house looks like a real pigsty, and the suspects look like drug addicts. The officers have the unpleasant task of going inside to search for anything incriminating. Gross. Well, it was, yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> she didn't look good when she's running at me in the dark right there. Why you guys trying to run out the back? Well, because you guys started shooting, man. We just need to see if there's a gun in here. There's a live round on the floor. You guys shot the gun, man. Yeah, well, there was a dog. Oh, nuisance paperwork. Absolutely. Right now! Sassy! Right Sassy. 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 Well, that showed just how obedient Sassy is. As soon as she saw another dog, she decided to bail on her owners. The officers, meanwhile, were still trying to find that gun. All they saw was a round that was fired from it. Hey, hey, where's the gun at? I don't know. Hey, where's the gun at? There is no gun. I'm there. There's no gun. Dude, there's a live round in here and there's a freshly spent round. Look, can I tell you something? Come here. Steve Chandler showed up here. This is what his aunt's house, man. He showed up. He's trying to put us out of here. And he did. He shot a gun. He shot a gun, man. He did, man. He did, man. Anybody want to come clean? So as much as we gather, a man named Steve Sanders either forgot his gun or, more likely, was never even there. For all we know, he might not exist. The two male suspects had warrants out for their arrest. In the end, all of them were charged with obstructing official business, but the ladies just got the summons. Okay, we identified ourselves as police officers. All right, we told 
you to open the door multiple times and nobody answered the door. Right. I, that door. I said that we were going to kick the door open and still nobody came to the door. I wasn't able to get the door open. Okay. The back door. What's a good mailing address for you? I just gave you my mailing address. Your address is 4640. Do you want to go to jail for it or for, what? for obstruction? For or, do you want, obstruction? or do you want the court? Just do the court thing. Okay, then stop having an attitude. I'm not nobody. I haven't had s with nobody. The prime example of why you shouldn't become a junkie. But if living in a pigsty and getting arrested doesn't dissuade you from doing drugs, this next story most certainly will. This story starts on a warm August morning in Miami, Florida. The cops were just called to the scene of a horrific crash where two people unfortunately lost their lives. The only person who survived the crash was the one who caused it in the first place. Hi. Okay, how many people are involved here? What about this driver? Is he responding? Hey, he did. He did in the car. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Do we have a... Well, I have rescue arrival. I need to get I think uh, it's going to be uh, on traffic homicide, please. Senora, tu estabas manejando? Miami, I also have the, it was a possible 18 and they have, I think it's a female on the ground, they're holding her because she wanted to uh, flee the scene. Uh, I need extra help here and I think I have two in the vehicle that have passed away, I'm not sure. The female officer is helped by witnesses who point out a woman that was seen stumbling from the crash scene. The semi-naked young woman was later identified as 24-year-old Macy Lathers, a self-proclaimed model on Instagram. Are you on the corner. Are you okay? on the corner. Get flagged. Yeah, okay. Get flagged. Okay. I know they answered the heaven. I know they answered the heaven. I know it's in the crystal. The crystal. Shh. Shh. Kirkwood Diamond in New York. Kirkwood Diamond in New York. You're going to get some help now. Calm down. Oh my God. Kirkwood Diamond in New York. Calm down. I just got here. I got there. Yeah, she's trying to jump into somebody else's car. Yeah, yeah. What car was she driving? White bitch. White bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. I also need a unit to block off Northeast 2, as well as Northwest 1, from east to west on 8. Grab her because she's under the influence of something. Yeah, right. We'll more units to Despite the peculiar situation she found herself in, the female officer maintained her composure and focused on the task at hand. She immediately asked for backup because someone needed to assess this woman's condition. Okay. What happened? I, I got here. Miami, this is what I found. Uh, they were telling me everybody was pulling me over there about the girl that was trying to flee. I got one witness. She's possibly the no. Okay, so my witness said they were traveling westbound. They were traveling behind the, the Mercedes. And uh, the black vehicle has run the red. The girl is the Mercedes. The Mercedes. What's her condition? I think she's under the influence of something. She was. Did she cause it or just involved? She was involved. She didn't, we don't know well, I only have one witness, so she was in the Mercedes. So the witness was talking behind the Mercedes. As if the officers weren't confused enough, a second witness appeared, saying the Mercedes was coming from a different direction. But the one thing everyone agreed upon was that a young female driving the Mercedes ran away from the crash site. That's what he says. Okay. So are we good on the numbers? There, uh, he said that there was another female here, but she ran. She got away. Yeah. I know she was for sure. I think it's that female that we have down there. 
I don't for sure this car is going to be Right, right. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. chaotic. Well, the video that you saw. The video that you saw. You saw the video? The video I saw, there's cars going like this. The Benz is flying through Miami and face the red. It took some time to find out what actually happened, but the officers eventually concluded that Macy flew through a red light at the intersection, causing the collision. There were three vehicles involved. One man died instantly, and another person passed away in the hospital. As for the suspect, she's still flying high. Watch my eyes. The water, the water. The water. Wait, we live in a dome. This is how we see it. What'd you take? Pussy pink, 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 pink. Oh, I'll see drugs. Go in the white car. Go in the car. My phone. My phone. AI. Oh my gosh, it's a curse at the White House. I think it's Molly. MDMA. Yeah. 45. Tell me what it's saying. Am I reading? If you could make it out through all of her gibberish, Macy said she took Tusi Pink. She was referencing pink cocaine, otherwise known as Tusi. It's a party consisting of ketamine. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Shut up. Shut up. Relax. No, you're not. Come on. 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 My mole, my mole. Hmm? It's like a diamond in the crash. Now, what car are you going The white car. Mercedes. My name's Mercedes. My name's Mercedes. My name is Mercedes. Mercedes. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. I'm from the future. Oh, Chris Hall. You can live off me. Are you indoors? Yeah. Two uh, seats. If you've ever wondered what drugs can do to you, you've got a perfect example here. Rolling on the concrete, half naked, peeing your pants, and talking nonsense. A little later, the medics placed the suspect on a gurney to take her to the hospital, and she's still delirious. What's your name? Put me in the call and go, 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 go. What's your name? Macy. Macy? Macy. 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 What's your last name, Macy? Macy, what's your last name? Blue. You love me. You love me. You love me. You love me. You guys love me. Please, please. Macy, what's your last name? Maddox. Maddox? Maddox. L-A-T-G-R-S. Maddox. What's your name your birth? The answer is numerology. Look at the numerology. Look it up online numerology. Despite being given medication, Macy was still delirious. She was able to say her name, but kept talking nonsense. The medics really needed to find out what she took, so that way they could treat her appropriately. What's going on? Macy, you know where you are? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in her. Where? Her. Your where? Her. The roof? Her. Her. Yeah, we are all on her. Do you know where you are? What city? Where? Oh, Miami. Miami. Do you know what happened? Do you remember what happened? Yeah, I 
Go, 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 Macy faces charges of DUI manslaughter, vehicular homicide, reckless driving, driving on a suspended license, and leaving the scene of a crash. She pleaded not guilty and was released on house arrest. However, when the toxicology report determined she'd taken drugs, she was then taken back to jail. Even though she was heavily drugged, Macy was right about one thing. The devil's real and was manifested on our next suspect. It's 5 a.m. in Ocean County, New Jersey, when officers entered the house of Naomi Elkins and found her two children lifeless. The suspect was placed swiftly under arrest. Oh, all right. Is there one back there? I don't know whose that is. Mine's like a block and a half away. We got one right over there. You got one right there on the road. Yeah, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna walk down. I gotta just pass you down with the back of my hand, okay? Do you have anything on you I need to be concerned about? Any sharp objects? Anything at all? Nothing like that? Okay. What's that? A ring. A ring? Is it on your finger? Yeah. Okay, other than that, that's it? Okay. We're gonna have a uh, female search you properly once we get to headquarters, okay? But for now, just being that I'm placing you inside of the vehicle, I just have to do a uh, quick sweep of you, okay? You okay? No, 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 here. Like, turn around. There you go, and then just sit back into this. There you go. <laughs> The cops treated the woman with decency, which is way more than she gave to her children. The three-year-old and one-year-old were both drowned in separate bathtubs, and the younger one was also stabbed in the chest. The video here's been redacted. The husband is MIA. I don't know where he is. Apparently someone's trying to reach him. Are there any other kids? As far as they know now, they... They, I don't know how they confirmed it, but it's always said they only are aware of two. So, so um, I'd like to still get confirmation on that. Yeah, for sure. Well, I came in, mom. Mom was sitting here already with them. Um, looks like the kitchen's been freshly mopped. This mop was here with the bucket knocked over. I don't know where their bags might be in the. Um, so the kitchen drawer is open, so I just... This is all done too. Yep. So you got a phone there. During their crime scene investigation, the officers made several key points. They noted a medic bag and a wet, recently mopped floor. Later, Naomi would reveal that when she realized she'd done something bad, she called the paramedics. So this is where... I don't know if they... Watch oh, so that whole floor is wet. Yeah, yeah, has someone just slip? Yeah, doesn't matter. That's just make, making sure not taking like her luggage. He said it was. He thought it was in one of the bathrooms, but I don't want to walk away first. We'll wait for major crimes and CSI. Come photograph everything. So when I first walked in, this was, I mean, it still is. There's a puddle with a bucket here. I didn't see any blood when I came in, but I don't know if that's what. Well, this is freshly mopped. So when I walked in, this is where. Uh, Mom was in here? 
His mom was sitting right in this chair, right? But as the cops were processing what they just witnessed, Naomi was taken to the police station. The entire time, she was silent and cooperative, and it looked like she really wasn't aware of what was happening. Apparently, she, she says, I'm going to hurt her children. And her children are deceased. How old? I don't know. You step up. Stand up? Yeah, you step up. Okay? Yeah. All right. You can walk. Uh, you can make a left and sit on that bench. Right there. She said she was in a... Is it going to be a female officer coming in and search you? A female officer is going to come in and search you. Okay. And once she's done, we're just going to take one hand out and just, we got to cuff you to the bench. Okay. We're going to walk? We're to take one hand out and cuff you to the bench once she's done searching. Okay. Cuff you to the bench. There's a D ring on the bench. We just got to cuff you to the bench. Okay. Until, I guess, we figure out what's going on. All right. Naomi was apparently a part of a deeply religious Orthodox Jewish community. At one point, she appeared to be praying in the police station. Supposedly, Naomi would pray when she started having bad thoughts. Sadly, today it didn't help her. Won't be able to hear much, but yeah. I don't know a charger. Won't be able to hear. Yeah, you can put those in there too. No. We'll hold on to them for you. Is there a way to turn those off, Naomi? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. I just don't want you to feed that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Her attorney later stated that Naomi had a well-documented history of severe mental illness. She apparently started having very dark thoughts when her husband went away for a few days. On that particular day, she drove the kids to Giggles Daycare, where she also worked. When they got home, she decided to kill them for, quote, religious reasons. And you're just standing there, face the wall. Face the wall, and I turn up. Well, then it's up to the judge and the prosecutor office and your lawyers to figure out what happens. If you're going to be detained or released, you're most likely going to be detained because of the severity of the crime. All right? You have to get a lawyer and all that stuff. Okay? Naomi Elkins was charged with murder, unlawful possession of a weapon, and possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose. Our next story was actually lucky for the cops and not so much for the suspect. On November 10th, 2023, as a car was being pulled over for a tinted window, the officer noticed a young woman in the back seat holding a tiny baby. Little did he know that the suspect had a secret that she didn't want him to know. Hello. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Conducting a traffic stop because of the tent, okay? Okay. Have you ever been pulled over for the tent before? Uh, well, I haven't, but she has. I've already gotten a ticket. I'm going to um, now. What's that? I already got a ticket. I bought the car like this was used. Uh-huh. So I'm going to remove the tent, and I'm going to put it on the lady. They just... Okay. 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 I'm going to give you back your insurance and that i'll just run this do you have any issues with your license or anything like that no sir okay where are you headed to um to take her to work and then go pick my husband up from work and what's your name ma'am jennifer jennifer all right 
The officer then went back to his vehicle to run the plates. Something about the passenger seemed a little bit odd, so he decided to get her ID as well. The woman's name was Zara Percy. That's weird, huh? Show me out my key for walk up. Huh? I said that's weird, huh? Okay, that Zara person is the person that this. Yeah. You want to get try to get the um, the passenger's ID too. The front and back. Could try. I'll walk up there with you. You have your ID with you. She looks completely different than she does in her DL. In the picture. I wonder if she just dyed her hair. Oh, well, there you go. Ready to go grab her? He says, grab her. Okay. Hey, Miss Percy, can you jump out for me, please? What's wrong? Do you have anything? Do you have any weapons on you or no. anything like that? No. What am I being arrested for? Can I be read my rights? Yeah, hold on. Although she said she was confused, her facial expressions and body language didn't show it at all. If you thought you were being handcuffed without justification, wouldn't you protest at least a little bit? But this woman's calm and relaxed. Basically, there was. 20 months ago in Central. And you were identified as the one who was shooting. They never shot him. Well, that's beyond me. They've got an investigation with an investigator every day. They have video. Okay. So, that you want your phone or just make it shoot? Yeah, give it to your mom. The 20-year-old Florida woman was wanted in connection to a shooting incident. At the time of her arrest, her mom was in the car in the passenger seat. She stepped out of the car to take her daughter's jewelry and also reassure her daughter. I don't know the exact details. She's telling me to call her. She's just the registered owner of the vehicle, so. Yeah, she's my daughter, not her mom. Okay. He has my ID. Yes, ma'am, I'm not issuing any citations or anything. If you want, yeah. She's going to step out to come grab the jewelry. Okay. Okay, okay, listen. I don't know what's going on. There's one more. I love you. Your baby loves you. You will be fine. Okay. Could this young woman really be the one who shot at someone? She doesn't look like the murderers we often see. But then again, looks can be deceiving. Mom typed her number into the officer's phone, which is not a standard procedure. Then the mom takes the chance to keep her daughter in check one more time. If you go in there, treat him with respect. I know, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Um, I promise we'll treat you 
They will. Be in the jail, please. Okay. Remember, they're not your enemies. They're doing their job. I love you. Okay, guys. I can go. All right. Do you? What? What address do you live at? To anybody recently about this incident? Uh, not. I didn't know. She was involved, but yep. the other night there was, there was a shooting over by our area, and that's why I said, was it around my house? Because uh -huh. they didn't know who did it. Well, as it turned out, Zara did it. She was allegedly the third wheel in a love triangle. Her secret boyfriend had a real girlfriend, and he was seeing Zara on the side. But the 20-year-old couldn't take it anymore. That's when she got into an altercation with the real girlfriend and allegedly shot at her. But where's the alleged weapon? I just want to make sure the firearm is supposed to be in the trunk. Uh, I would be pissed if well, so. That's why guns. we want to... Yeah. yeah. I would have known how we're looking now The incident report says that after the altercation, the suspect took a gun out of the car's trunk and began shooting at the victim and her vehicle, all the while with her one-year-old strapped in the back seat. Eventually, Zara was charged with shooting into a vehicle. She was released on a bond of $5,000. If that story was too mellow for you, then let's speed things up. It was the middle of August when these officers entered a Walmart in Cleveland, Ohio. The cops were looking for two suspects, and they were both involved in a shooting that left one man dead and another in the hospital. They first spot Shanasia Jones. After a short but thrilling chase through the Walmart aisles, the suspect realized it was game over, so she just gave up. Female custody, we're in the third department. Stand it up. Lean to the right, lean to the right. Stand up. Stand up for me. That's it? No, they was in the front by us. She ran back. No. The suspect was taken to the squad car. Before going to jail, she needs to be searched. Luckily, there's a female officer present, and she takes it upon herself to check the suspect. Yes. 
Hold on. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. What do you got on you? What do you have on you? Nothing. I'm on my money. I'm on my hat. No more. I don't got nothing. I promise I ain't got this one. Where am I? Where you sign that? You hear her? That's what I'm saying. I just want you to get that one on the side. You can give it to my She ain't got nothing. You gotta have it. And I know how you can put your shoes back on, okay? No. Here, I'll get the other side. Is it in there? Put it in there. I'm putting the shoes back on. Let's see. Once that was done, the suspect was placed in the squad car. Watch her facial expression as the officers Mirandized her. Okay, so put your foot in, let me. Okay, listen. Right now, you're being detained. Okay, so I'm going to verbalize you, you're Miranda on it. Before you speak or say anything to me, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything that you say can't be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You can either four one one will be appointed to you free of charge by the courts. You can choose to exercise these rights. Deny any statements or questions. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. As they read her rights, you can almost see it on her face as she realizes that her life probably just ended. As for the officers, their job wasn't finished yet. Walter Robinson Jr., who was with the female suspect at Walmart, was suspected of being involved in the same shooting. While the cops were handcuffing Robinson, a young woman appeared nearby with a baby, and she starts asking questions. Who are you? Who are you? I'm going to tell you. Figure it out. OK, I need to call the cops. No, what's his name? I need to tell you. Thank ma'am. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? Oh, I we have it? They, they have her. Oh, I thought she ran. What? They said she was running. They have yeah. her. They love, they call which, her. They which one is she? Is that her? Whoa, they have her now. Look, she's like four foot nine. They have her. They detained her now. Oh, they got her. They have her, yeah. Oh, good, good, good. They were doing that while you were doing this. Oh, good. The female detained, right? Detained, right? Is the female custody? Yeah, I got it. Good. Okay, so we got him too. Good. These two were wanted for a serious crime, so this time there was no escaping the inevitable. What are you doing? Why are you running? Yeah, I'm running. Yeah, I'm running. For what? Huh? Why are you running? Because she was running. They were chasing her. Who's chasing who? So you just start running? Yeah, that's right. she was that's running. not how it works. Jamie, weapons, and drugs. I'll put in the front. Okay. All right. Where's the money at? Don't reach. Don't reach. Don't reach for anything. I'm fucked. You got weed on you? I, I can I smell it. I ain't got weed on you. You got it somewhere. These two dumb criminals kept going to Walmart and harassing one of the employees who happened to be a relative of the shooting victims. Not surprisingly, that employee called the police. So now, in addition to the charges of murder and felony assault, they were also charged with stalking and obstruction. Today we've talked about all kinds of crimes, from shooting to murder and worse. But this next case is really special because a Karen got drunk and ran her friend over with a car. When the cops arrived to arrest her, she started lying and then tried to downplay the whole thing. Where are you driving? Right there. I need yes. you over here, please. Listen. I need please, you over please, here, please. please. Thank Look, you. There's so much going on. Where's your driver's license at? I don't have a driver's license on me. She's the driver. I was driving. You just said you were driving. I just no, told I you. know. I know. I know. We were drinking. You just said you were driving. Listen, there's been a lot going on today with my friend's fiance that they they're supposed to have a wedding and they just got, 
I live He's right around the corner. Like I'm not a bad person. I have no right to Okay, do nothing but you to gotta be. You gotta be honest with us. I am being honest. Okay. So please. Where are you driving? No, sir. This is my grandma's car. I'm driving here because I was worried about her. Like I'm okay. not. Okay, and I'm what happened? Lying. What do you mean? What happened? I came here and she was here. I was taking care of her kids. I was taking care of her kids. Did you hit somebody with a car? No, I was taking okay. care of her kids. The suspect said she was driving, but then she said she wasn't. And then there was something about her grandma's car. She also mentioned they were drinking, and also that she was taking care of her friend's kids. They tried talking to a potential witness who might be able to paint a better picture. Can you talk to me? I was taking care of her kids. Stay right here, okay? I know, I was taking care of her kids. Uh, uh, let me call you back. The cops are trying to talk to me. I love you. She was talking about taking care of her kids. Like, I'm um, looking at kids. All right, okay, you're taking care of her kids. Calm down. What happened? So, um, Bree had walked over here uh, and we were who's talking. Bree? The one that's laying on the floor. Okay. Got um, she, she got, um, she walked over here, whatever. We was talking for a little bit. And then, um, Caitlin and Raven had showed up and they, uh, was knocking on the door or whatever. Well, we came, they, they knocked on the door. I told them to come in. They came okay, in. Okay, hang on. Short version. Who hit who with the car? You could just see the pain on the witness's face. She now has to rat out one of her friends. The question is, can she do it? Take, take, Are we... take her a little bit, Morgan. Just take her a little bit. Come on here. Oh, dear God. What, what, what's, what, why is no one want to let us know who hit somebody with the car? Because they're our friends. So... So why do you guys call 911? Because she has a big knot on the back of her head. I, I'm not intoxicated at all. Okay. I, I'm here at my Who house. Who was driving and hit the car? Caitlin. Who's Caitlin? The one over there. The one behind me? Yes. She was driving. Okay. Were you with her? No. F no. Okay. I'm sorry. Where were you at? I was in I was in my yard right here. Okay. What did you see? Um, She spun out right here and then she went really fast because um, Bree started walking and Caitlin wanted her in the car mm -hmm. and she lay in Bree. So now we've got the scoop. Two friends got drunk, argued, and one got in her car and ran over the other one. The way it sounds, though, is that it wasn't intentional. She was driving. I don't know if it was accident or I, I'm not her, so. Well, at this point, that doesn't matter. Um, she was behind the wheel. She's been drinking. She hit somebody. So at this point, we kind of have to do something about it. So. Okay, well, can you do me a favor? Can you just say that you see something on the car and you know that it was her or something? Don't tell her that I have told you. Yeah. Okay. Um, try. She did say in, initially that she was driving. She told him initially. Yeah, and then they started changing it, and then. Understandably, the witness doesn't want her friend to know that she ratted her out. I guess she doesn't know that sooner or later, the truth will always be revealed here on the Untold Files channel. Changing gears, let's go back to the suspect and see if she'll admit to what she did. You were driving this car? You were driving this car? This is my grandma's car. Were you driving this car? I'm asking a question. I was driving that okay. car, yes, sir. Did you, come here. Yes. Did you hit her with this? What did you hit her with? Huh? What did you hit her with? I didn't hit her. All right, now, now you're lying to an officer. No, listen, no, listen, my listen, grandma, listen, listen. look, my grandma, I'm not. Now, listen. I'm not lying, my yeah, grandma, are. not this right. mural. I'm asking you, how did you hit her? I didn't okay. hit her, my grandma. I did how this. How did you hit her? With what My grandma vehicle? did this. You're not listening to me, okay? I need you to relax, okay? I am relaxed, but you're yelling at me. I have anxiety. Please just calm down. Listen, what did you hit her with? With what part of the vehicle did you hit her with? I didn't hit her. You did hit her. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Now you're lying. No, I'm not. Can you prove it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The cop did his best to not throw the witness under the bus, and he was trying to get the suspect to tell the truth. But this woman just kept lying through her teeth. As she was trying to tell the officer what a good person she was, the victim passed by, and you wouldn't believe what she said. I don't understand what's going on. 435. Right? I'm a good person. Like, I love my best friend. Four. She's gonna be the driver. It wasn't her. 
Well, you gotta hand it to her. Her friend just ran her over, and she's making up lies to protect her. The funny thing is, if she convinces the cops she was hit by a different vehicle, the guiltiest person right now seems to be the witness who ratted the suspect out. From what we're gathering, she's, she's been drinking and driving. Um, who? You! And everybody else. I you need to calm down because I'm already upset. I am, I, no, I'm, I'm I about to take you to jail. No, I am calm. I am you, calm. Don't, I don't even talk to me right now. Don't no, even like, tell you I shit. I live low. Like, well, go please, back to the listen. car. No, please. Go back to the car. Please. I, Can you get her, please? No, I will. I will. I got, I got, I got nothing I, to talk to you about. I, the only reason I drove. I got nothing to talk to you about. The only reason I drove. Did you hear what I just said? Listen. Did you hear what I just said? No, please listen. No, I'm not gonna listen to you. You're a liar. No, yes, you are. I drove Stop talking to me, please. Would be okay. Looks like the cop wasn't convinced the victim was telling the truth. She sounded pretty disoriented herself. You shouldn't be driving while you're drinking. I only drove here. You shouldn't be driving while you're drinking. I know that, but she You was. shouldn't be driving while you're drinking. She was, and so I f***ing chose to drive. Yeah, because you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't chose that. Car. My mom and my Kid, to care of her kids. So well, I'm telling you right now, her. I'm telling you right now, you should you should calm down. I am calm. No, you're I'm not. You need to calm not down. Fair how you're trying to blame me for something that I'm trying to take responsibility of. Like she or her kids, she was drinking, and I'm trying to f be the bigger person to come over here and get her and get her and her kids. You should you should have never been driving to her house in Wellwood. You and should have never been driving. And my mom would have watched the kids. And I asked her, I asked so We're not her, here about the kids. We're here about you drinking and driving and, and hitting somebody with a car, okay? To, can you go to my house? No. Like, just so you know, we're, we're, we're done with the crash investigation, okay? Okay. But now we're changing it to a DUI investigation. What does that mean? That we're changing it to a driving under the influence okay, investigation. that's fine. But the only reason I was here was because I live right down the road. And my friend had something to handle, Bree. And the only reason I came here was to get her kids because she left her kids with me and my mom. And how did you come here? I live right down the road. Okay. And I and asked my grandma. I asked my grandma for her car so okay. I could come and get her and her kids so, so you, I could get you, them home safe did you, and well. Did you, did you drive here? I drove right here. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're doing a DUI investigation, okay? That's fine, okay. Yes, I understand, but I don't understand why. you shouldn't why. be drinking and driving. No, I understand that, but I don't You know don't why? Understand. Because by accident, you might hit somebody. No, I haven't hit anybody, and that's what I'm saying. So like, that's why we're doing it. I came to get You're her. Good. You're I good. came to listen. You're good. Please listen to me, You're good. please. She still doesn't get it. The officers here made a very smart move. They ditched the crash investigation and turned things into a DUI case. They no longer had to prove that she hit her friend. Like, why is that? Why did that come to me when I was just trying to do the right thing and go back get her? You, you can't do the right thing when you've been drinking. No, but I was getting her so I could Especially get her when you're driving. Kids. No, I understand that. But then I could get back to Wellburn. So you're going to drive to Wellburn drunk? I'm not drunk though. That's the thing. Come like, on, man. Are you kidding? Are you are you serious right now? But like, no, because I'm the only you one. I was down. there for her f***ing son's hey, birth. Hey, listen to me. No, listen I was me. there for hey. her son's birth, and I'm the only right, one that gave. Ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. Oh. Yes, sir. Are you willing to do field sobriety tests? What does that mean? Walk what do turn. I need to do? Are you gonna f***ing uncuff me because I can't f 
can do it like if, this. If, Don't if, gonna stress me out. I have anxiety. Me. If you're gonna, if you can calm down. I'm gonna have a panic attack. If you can I'm calm gonna, down. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I'm not a bad person, and you guys just f think I am. No, we don't. You're a liar. I'm not a f liar. You're a liar. You're not a bad person, but you're a liar. All right. So be it. We're, hey, we're going to request that you take a breath test when you get to the jail. Are you willing to do that? Leave me the f alone. So is that a refusal? Leave me alone. Okay. You realize if you refuse, they suspend your license, correct? F it. Leave me the f alone. In the end, this liar was charged with battery as well as a DUI. Now it's time to put on your detective hats because this one is really strange. It was January 26, 2022, and everything started with a simple traffic stop. However, the moment the officer approached the female driver, he noticed something strange. Hello? No, it's just caused an accident. This is what's gonna happen. You have a little bit of m in your pot in your lap right there. Decide, don't move. You know why I'm stopping you. Do we understand each other? We're not gonna stop moving. Call him out. She's got in her lap. Stop. That's right, that just happened. As soon as the cop mentioned the drugs on her lap, she figured this story ends with a trip to the jailhouse. So of course she decided to make a run for it. Not long after, the suspect ditched her car and started jumping fences. She had a baggie of a white crystal substance in her lap. cop really had to work hard for this one and the suspect didn't have it easy herself Immediately, the suspect started sobbing, claiming she was held at gunpoint. And in case you missed it, she also apologized for soiling herself. And that fits her narrative as a victim and not a suspect. Possible signal zero on mail. I can tell you who you look, sir. Sir, excuse me. Sir, I can't show you where you went. Sir, I'm trying to show you where you went. saying so possible. I'm trying to show you where you went. Which way? So this is how he went that way? Over that thing. Yeah, she keeps saying he ran eastbound towards US one. Uh, <laughs> Why did you say he knows why you stopped him? Stop. Why did he say you know why you stopped him? Huh? Why did he say you know why you stopped him? Why did I say that? Yeah. Does. Are you able to climb this fence safely? Yeah. Yeah. I promise you I won't run. I swear to God. You would never get away from me. I would try. Like I swear to God, he had a gun on me. You don't understand. In his hoodie? Yes. 
the suspect kept saying that the passenger had a gun, so the officer called in a signal zero, which meant the suspect was armed and dangerous. In a surprising but logical move, the officer decided to uncuff the suspect because of the multiple fences they still had to jump. Although it probably wasn't a pleasant experience for either of them, the entire time, the suspect kept claiming she was the victim. What'd you do with your mask? Anything he has on the floorboard. Would you, it was I in your mask. I have, no, he was throwing it, you didn't see it. I swear to God, you didn't see it. I had personally one syringe. Ma'am, it's on my video. If you wanna lie, if you wanna lie. Sir, walks. I'll show you what I had. You want me to show you what I was mine? Yep. Come on, I'll show you in the car exactly what I was mine. Yes, sir. 165, are you able to put her in your car? No, I don't have a cage, but I got some stuff underneath this truck. Yeah, they were dumping a lot. No, don't look at it. It was all the passenger and you can see that. Well, you're still screwed. I know I'm screwed. I'll do it. I'll do it. Stand next to that tire. Hands around your back. What? Yes! Just tire? Yeah, hey. yeah, go get him, go get him, He's running that way! Running that way! Apparently, someone saw the male suspect, and in a matter of seconds, the officer was running again. Eventually, he decided he'd had enough cardio, and he returned to the female suspect. She was still going on about her victim narrative. According to her, the man she referred to, Josiah, was a very dangerous man. He said I didn't kill one person. There's nothing to do with you. What do you think the homicide is? I just want me for. Who did he kill? Pull the black backpack. It's a Puma backpack with a green Puma sign on it. Is it like a shoulder satchel, or was he wearing? This is a full backpack. He had it just on over his shoulder. Um, and he has on a black hood and he's in. It's black camo. It's black camo. And then the pants are like, um, they're all ripped up, they look like you went over a fence, and they're like light purple and green and blue. Okay. Pants pastel colors. I know because he was just driving. Because he didn't want to let me go. Oh, I guarantee you. He went to the trailer park. Tell me what for the trailer park. We're right on the corner of the trailer park. park. The trailer park right over behind Dollar General. That's where he went to. I guarantee you. Hey, I'm being advised. He may be running toward, uh, trailer park. the Shire. That's where his people are. She has not been searched yet, but... I Oh, because I'm so scared because he had a gun on one side. I'm not trying to be gross at all. Kilo, come this way. I'm scared as hell. I got you. And then he put us over. And he's even like, he's in your car. He said, I'm like, he's caught up in a car. I have never gotten into this. He's in your car. He's so cool. And I told him I was trying to get out of the game. One of our task force to try to freaking help him. He's like, I want to go to Kansas. I want to get out of here. But they won't let me leave. We're taking you to the station. What? I'm taking you to the police station. Yeah, but they're gonna forget about me. No, they're not. They can't. Oh, they do. Um, are you hurt, injured in any way? Or... I don't know, honestly. Not really? I'm like scared. So you don't have no, no cuts and knocked out on you, right? Uh, like I, don't, I honestly ain't even looked. I don't know. I'm scared right now. I don't know. Someone. That's what he said. If I go to jail, I'm going to kill you. That's what he tells you. Yes. Ask the cop walking and up he, to the car. No, this was before. He said, I've already killed somebody. He said, I've already shot somebody. It's nothing to do. 
She was eventually charged with drug possession, fleeing and eluding an officer, and resisting a police officer. Let me know in the comments if you believe her, or if you think she was just trying to get out of a sticky situation. I hope you liked today's episode of The Untold Files. Today we uncovered some of the most interesting police encounters ever captured on body cams. The easiest way to not miss the next episode is to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.